Honey lobster corn dogs are really, 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 really too nice. Did you hear the crunch? Did you hear the, the juicy lobster, bro? Now, this recipe calls for two batters. You want to dry, you want to wet. So the wet batter really is the seasoning for me. So I'm going to hit it with some kosher salt. Then I'm going to slide in with some smoked paprika. And that right there is just plain flour. Now, I'm, like I like the smoked paprika set it off. I'm not going to lie. It did. Now I'm going to hit it with some white pepper. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slide in with some onion powder and some garlic powder that I need a little bit more of. Now I'm going to hit it with an egg. Once you crack that egg in there, make sure you don't get no shell. We're going to slide in with some club soda. What does club soda do? Honestly, uh, I really got to Google it. I don't know. And I'll tell you in the comments. Or something like that. I just be doing it. Like I saw Quan Tran do it, and I'm like, nah, that thing look crispy. That thing is crispy. So I like to start off with like a cup and a half of the club soda. It has to be thick, but you don't want it too too thick. And I'm gonna show you guys like how I messed up. So like I'll be messing up so y'all don't mess up. So now y'all already know how to crack a lobster tail. I put it in a paper towel, just pat it down so it won't be too too wet. Now I used one skewer for this, but these is like the big body lobster tails, and I'm like, trust me. Don't get them too big because it'd be too tough when you fry it. Get like a little smaller ones. Like get ones that's smaller than these. So now the batter was too thick because you see I can't even lift it up. So what I did was, I don't know if I recorded this. I don't know if I put it in here, but I just added like a little bit more club soda. And I just got it to a like creamy consistency, if that makes sense. So yeah, boom. Like I mess up so y'all don't mess up. Now, once you get the wet batter on there, I just use my fingers and just like make sure it got everywhere. Because like I said, I didn't season the lobster tails and that wet batter basically is the seasoning. Now, when when it comes to the flour, the wet batter might make the shape a little bit weird so what i do is when i put it in the uh, flour i just like pat it down for like a long time i know this clip is gonna go for a long time but i'm just showing you like really pat it down and just form it back into like a corn dog kind of thing like like you understand so i just make sure i get the flour all on there and what you could do too is you could put that batter into a cup and dip the skewer inside and take it out but i wasn't thinking about that so i didn't do that now you want to get your grease nice and hot now you want to drop it in there you're going to fry it nice and crispy this batter don't miss when it comes to crispiness. Like, it, it just it just doesn't. And in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys how to be careful when you're taking it out because I got burnt. So, boom. Once I took it out the grease before I started recording, I lifted it up and all that grease, like, came down the skewer and burnt my hand. So, be careful when you're doing it. Just hold it at an angle so it's like you don't got to do that. For the sauce, some butter, then some honey. Something dropped out the cabinet and I got scared. So, like, that's why the honey got on the counter. Then we're going to slide it with some silver sauce. I stopped making my sauce on the stove. I'm doing it right in the microwave every single time. I don't care. Boom. Throw a lobster tail in there. Now, we're going to sauce it up. It like the... Oh, my God, bro. This is crazy. Sweet and salty always wins. Always. Then, like, I'm going to start doing my first clips like this because this just look sick. And you know I got a bev. Stop playing me for real. Come on. And it's water. What you going to say now? Yeah. You drink too much. It's water. Yeah.